I personally give Allen Iverson and the N1 franchise credit for what we see and what you just kind of see me doing as an example there, the modern day crossover dribble. It looks an awful lot like that. What has disappeared virtually from the basketball landscape around the world is a crossover that's more compact, a la Tim Hardaway Sr., the UTEP two-step. and uh, UTEP is the University of Texas El Paso where he played college ball. That one-two motion, one-two, one-two. In this video, I'm just gonna briefly cover, if you use this one-two motion as your foundation, starting as simply as what you see me doing here, and this is called the square V. If you can get used to this motion, performing the square V in front of you, and then getting used to lunging a little bit forward and making that crossover dribble, and then condition yourself to do this with your hand remaining on top of the ball. So your hand doesn't come under the ball like what you saw at the beginning of the video, but you're keeping your hand on top of the ball. I can convince you and I could help you to become one of the best ball handlers on any basketball court that you set your foot on. And I guarantee you that because from my own experience, I'm just going to show you kind of a wild and exaggerated example of what happens when you learn the square V and sort of adapt that one-two process, keeping your hand on top of the basketball. And only the basketball will become like breathing air to you. It's something you won't even have to spend time thinking about. So, you know, I missed that layup there. Watch the videos on this channel to learn more.